guys, I know this is going to be a little bit weird. I'm not really here today, but I need you to just be in it. Make sure you got your pencil in hand, powerful learning position, and just rock and roll with me through this. We're not going to go through all of last night's homework. You've already scored it in. You know which ones are the mostly missed. What I want to focus on today is I want to focus on how to attack the questions. And I haven't really, I'm not going to anchor anything on the wall while I'm not here, but I want to go through the thinking process and I want you to see the way that I think about questions and how I want you to start thinking about the questions. We're going to go through all five of them and we'll start with number one. Which sentence from the selection describes how Christensen's name choice unexpectedly represents the product? And they used a lot of big, fancy words here. This is why I want you to use key words on the question so you can kind of break down what's going on. I'm going to go in here and kind of look for who is this question about, even if it's not really a person. That's what we talked about yesterday. This is about... Well, I see somebody's name. I see Christensen. It's about Christensen. But what did Christensen do? Well, he made a name choice. He made a name choice for the company. Oh, he named it Lego. His name choice unexpectedly represents the product. Well, I know the product is Lego. That's why I'm pulling these keywords. Well, when something is unexpected, it's a surprise. It's an accident. And when something represents it, well, it stands for it. Hmm. So this is about the name that he chose standing for his product kind of by accident. So basically, how does the name Lego, what kind of surprise happened with the name there? And you might remember something from the story and your brain might be saying, Oh, I remember. Let's go back. Let's go back. Don't take off and go back just yet. Let's read the answer choices and try and get rid of some of them. So we know when we go back exactly what we're looking for. Gryffindor, I heard it. You don't have to say it even though I'm not here, Iliani. A, Lego is a family company founded in Denmark by old Kirk Christensen in 1932. Now we have to keep in mind, what is the question asking us? It's asking us about the name choice, standing for the product kind of by accident. Well, this is about the company not about the name, get rid of A. A has nothing to do with the name of the company. B, the name of the company comes from the first two letters in two Danish words. Okay, yeah, yeah, that is, that is about the name. Cool, I'm not gonna do anything with it. I don't feel great, but I don't feel terrible. I won't eliminate or put my heart in. C, the words are leg goat, which means play well. Well, again, that's about the name and that's about Lego. Yeah. That's about the name. It's about the name for the company. We're good. Lego also means I put together in Latin. Well, that's also about the name Lego. Now is that time when you go back. When I go back, I'm not going to look for anything about answer choice A. I've already eliminated it, I'm done. Now I'm gonna go back and look at B, C, and D, where it talks about the first two letters in Danish words, leg, goat, and I put together in Latin. But remember, the question says unexpected. I'm looking for something that happened by accident. And I'm gonna kinda scan like I did before. And I'm going to be looking for when it talks about the name of the company and the Danish words and Latin. And I go through, I see Denmark, oh, Danish words, here we go. The words are leg goat, which means play well. That was in an answer choice, but I'm looking for something that was an accident. Lego also means I put together in Latin, okay? Christensen did not even know that when he named the company. There was something he didn't know, something that happened by accident. What was an accident? What was something he did not even know? Well, he didn't even know that it means I put together in Latin. That is our answer for number one. Now we just go back and pick the choice. Lego also means I put together in Latin. That was the one that was by accident. Okay, stop.